never thought twice about not having a healthy pregnancy. Um, in 2009, we became pregnant with identical twin boys. Um, having twins automatically puts you in a higher risk category. And for the most part, our pregnancy was uneventful. At 32 weeks, I developed HELP syndrome, and that is a severe form of preeclampsia. Mm -hmm. And really, the only way to cure that is to have, is to deliver. On November 21st of 2009, we welcomed our twin boys into this world, uh, Ethan Joseph and Jacob Edward. Ethan was three pounds and 15 ounces. Jacob was four pounds and four ounces. I remember seeing them whisk down the hallway, the twin boys in their separate incubators, uh, just in a cloud of medical staff running by and not having the opportunity to look at them, to see them, to touch them or hold them, to find out how they were, if everything was okay. I remember the first time going into the NICU, uh, seeing Jacob first and then eventually going in, in, in seeing Ethan. Uh, they were so small, so fragile. Um, I was almost afraid to touch them, to get near them. I didn't want to hurt them. Um, there were so many wires and cords, uh, tubes and alarms that were going on. One of the nurses actually had to uh, prompt me to put a glove on and put my hand in there and say, that's okay, you can, you know, you can touch him, that's your son. Just when we thought, you know, the worst of everything, you know, was over, Jacob um, developed necrotizing endocolitis, or called NEC and that is a intestinal infection. Um, it's very common with preemies, especially within the first two weeks of life, um, but it, it can be very devastating. At that point, um, the doctors had done really everything that they could do um, to try to save Jacob's life. Um, and at that moment, we were just didn't even really seem, didn't seem real. On December 1st, um, Jacob passed away in the presence of his family, his uh, twin brother, Ethan. Thankfully, after about one month, we were able to bring Ethan home. Um, he had no major medical issues and um, is a happy toddler. In the months after Jacob's death, we were, you know, grieving, still really looking for answers, um, really looking for a way to, you know, move forward. And that's when we found the March of Dimes. Their mission is to have healthy pregnancies, healthy babies. Um, you know, they fund a lot of research into preventing prematurity and birth defects. Um, and we really looked into them more and found that, you know, they funded a lot of research for preeclampsia, HELP syndrome, NEC, um, a lot of things that we were directly affected by. In June of 2011, we welcomed Zoe into our family. She was born full term and healthy. Jacob will always, you know, be with us and in our hearts and we will continue to honor his memory every year um, as we support the March of Dimes with the um, ultimate goal that one day all babies will be born healthy.